This is Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. There's some back to school deals out there on things like backpacks and other items. I think I can use some fishing hacks and build myself a pretty neat backpack tackle box. If you stick around the end, I'll show you what I can do with this wooden necklace. Why don't you come along? Hack number one. Found these at the Dollar Tree for $1.25. They're called ice molds. I'm guessing what these are for is they open in two parts, okay? So you close them, fill them up with water, and then you've got a nice round ice cube. And when I saw these, what really caught my eye was these could be a nice bobber. For one thing, you open your filler opening for your ice. You can push your line in there. And that's going to stay on your line. If you want to move it up and down, you just open it, slide it up and down, and you can kind of peg it to your line once again. Now the other thought I had too, you've seen these, these are glow sticks. You can pick them up at the Dollar Tree, several of them in a pack. But my idea with this barber was I can open it up. And if I'm night fishing, I could roll one of these glow sticks up Stick it inside one of these bobbers I've come up with. You've got a bobber that glows in the dark. That's pretty neat. So we're gonna add these bobbers to our backpack tackle box and we can use them for day or night fishing. $1.25 for four. And they can glow in the dark if you like. Hack number two. In preparation for loading up my backpack tackle box, I found these, they're reusable mini storage containers with lids. You might recall that in previous videos, I found these, these are just slightly larger, but not much, and a little heavier duty, and there were four of these to a pack. You can store a lot of items in 14 of these, which will be ideal for our backpack tackle box. There's 14 of these in a package for $1.25, and look what I've got in here. I've got jig heads, sinkers, bobbers, more jig heads. i got beads, hooks, hooks, more beads, more bobbers, split shots. Look how much these will hold for $1.25. They're going to work nicely in my backpack tackle box. Hack number three. Found this at the Dollar Tree. It's an organizer case, but it's not like the ones that I've been seeing lately. This has rounded compartments. Now, if you remember a video or two ago, I come up with these. These are called storage containers, but they're little round containers. And what I thought was neat is they're gonna fit nicely in those storage compartments in this box because they're rounded. Look how nicely these round storage containers fit in this case along with some other items. So you've got this nice organizer case with rounded compartments and a couple of storage containers and that's going to go nicely in our backpack tackle box. Hack number four. When you think of catching fish, what comes to mind is you're going to need a stringer of some sort. So that's one option for a backpack tackle box. But another thing we can do is I found this at the Dollar Tree and I think I've showed it before in one of my previous videos. This is a mesh bag and it's a jumbo size so it's pretty large and it has a string tie opening and what I found you can do is if you catch your fish, whether you're kayak fishing or fishing from your boat, you can throw your fish in your mesh bag and pull up the drawstring and there you have your fish in a live well and you can hang out over the side of your kayak or boat and that's going to keep your fish alive till you're ready to carry them home. It's only $1.25 at the Dollar Tree and it makes a great addition to our backpack tackle box. Hack number five. We're going to add this to our backpack tackle box. It's a divided case from the Dollar Tree. The one thing I like about this one is it's really deep and it's pretty good size. So for those crankbaits, 
that are pretty sizable I can load them right in this case and it's really deep so it's going to hold quite a few and they're not going to get mixed up and there's room for them a lot of these storage cases you pick up at the Dollar Tree just aren't quite big enough for the lures we want to put in so there you go crankbait stored nicely in this divided storage case we're going to stick that in our backpack hack number six this item right here is called a kids scissors comes from the dollar tree and they're only a dollar 25 right now in the back to school section as well but the interesting and good part about these it's got a stainless steel braid and they're compact they don't take up much room but they're going to be great as a line cutter I've tried these on braid as well as monofilament and some of the other lines and it really works on all of them so they're compact they're small we need a set of line cutters for a backpack tackle box so a pair of these kids scissors are going to be just a ticket hack number seven I needed one more case for my backpack tackle box so over in the hardware section at the Dollar Tree they have these hardware storage cases and they're a little bit more substantial plastics than some of the cases you find in the craft department it has rigid compartments that won't give out and your hooks can't slide underneath the dividers and they're a little bit deeper so you can hold things like the bigger bobbers little containers and whatnot you have room for things like hooks beads line stoppers your bobbers and even little storage containers so you can put a good amount in this it locks tight and it's called a hardware storage case it's a little bit more substantial than some of the other cases but it's still only a dollar 25 at the dollar tree and i think that'll give me enough storage in my backpack tackle box hack number eight every tackle box needs a pair of long nose pliers in case you get a hook deep inside one of your fish and you need to reach down in there to pull it out these also come in handy if you get your lure stuck say in the carpet or the boat or you need to pull something apart and critically so if you'd ever need to cut the barb off of a hook say to get it out of your finger which has happened to a friend of mine in the past these have cutters on them for cutting wire so for a dollar 25 i don't know how much of a hack you might refer to that as but everyone needs pliers and these are available at the dollar tree and they're pretty inexpensive and they'll go great in our backpack tackle box hack number nine I've shown you these before you get these two to a package at the Dollar Tree and that's no new hack and what I like to do is put a little water and vinegar in here and that way when your hands get a lot of fish smell on them you can just give them a little spritz and that helps clean your hands off and it's environmentally friendly it doesn't leave a chemical smell on your hands it'll be transferred to your lures the only problem is if you want to dry your hands and you grab one of mama's good bath towels you might end up in the dog house so at the dollar tree you can pick up these hand towels they're pretty substantial and they're good size and you get one for a dollar 25 at the dollar tree and that's going to keep you out of the dog house and it'll go great in my backpack tackle box hack number 10 here's a hack i can share with you in the bottom of my new backpack I found this this is a desiccant and what you can do with this is you don't need the backpack anymore but you can put this in your tackle box and that's going to help keep your hooks from rusting it was kind of a free hack came along with the backpack hack number 11 I picked up this item at the dollar store for a dollar 25 and it's kind of a wooden bead necklace sort of a thing so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it apart and pull out some of these beads I had a subscriber recently when we made bobbers out of these little blocks of wood tell me that if I drilled a bigger hole we could peg our bobber and use it as a pegged bobber where we can move it up and down the line so that gave me the idea when I saw these these already have a hole inside them this is 3 16 dial and we're going to take a piece of this dial and nip it off 
and then that dowel is going to fit right in this hole and that's going to be our peg we need when we want to peg this to our fishing line so then all we need to do is paint these up and we'll have a pegged bobber Okay, while our bobbers are drying, I'm going to cut me some pegs. I'm going to make these about one inch long so I can get a hold of them, but not too big. Then we're going to trim up the ends just to make sure we get a peg our line that we don't struggle to get our peg to fit in the hole. So these will do nicely, just like that. So we'll have a pegged bobber and be ready to go. So there you have it. I'm checking my Dollar Tree receipt. I spent $5 on the backpack and the rest I spent on accessories and storage solutions to make this a back to school backpack tackle box. And for the total, $22 and some change, not bad. This has been Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. Today we've used a wooden necklace to make some bobbers. I've filled up my backpack with items to create a backpack tackle box and I'm all loaded up and ready to go fishing. If you like my videos, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. If you'd like to see some more of my videos, just click right there. We'll see you next time.